Now Logan okay, here in this video. I want to give you a little look at my scenery of where I'm living right now, where I'm staying. What you're looking at here is a college. That's right, this is a college you're looking at. Sort of right across the road from me. In case you wanted to see a college, there's our dormitories on campus. Well, you can see a little bit of idea of where I'm staying at anyhow. That's what this is, this is a college. Okay. And of course, uh, as you see, we got through another year. I'm happy we did. I would like to be wrong on a lot of what I say. I really would. A lot of what I tell you what's going on in society, I'd love to be wrong on. And I'm not ashamed or afraid to be wrong because I would much rather be wrong with what I'm seeing going on. I really would. But unfortunately, a lot of stuff that I've said is actually materialized in my face and is actually going on right now. Uh, I don't believe in putting timelines on things to how soon things are going to happen. But I will tell you this, okay? We're running out of time. How much time we have, I can't say. But I can say this for fact, okay? We're looking at a situation where, well, we're in war. We've been in war. You had Barack Obama come into office and give you all of his false prophets. How if he got into office, he was going to end the war. That's right. He would bring your troops home and he would end this damn war. That's right. That's what he told you before we come into office. Here we are coming up to re-election time. He not only uh, kept the war going, he's escalated the war, that's right. And now we're in more countries even, as we take over the Middle East. Oh, that's because Barack Obama has to. He has to do as he's told to do. He's not allowed to do anything different. Yeah, you're looking at, well, fields here, farm fields, because this is farmland, okay? That's what you're looking at. You're looking at farmland. Yep. Yep, sort of out in the country. So you're looking at farms. We're looking at what's supposed to feed the American people. You see this farm right here? This is what we call beans. <laughs> okay, that's right. And you see the stocks from where they grew corn. Well, that's because this particular farm is like most all your farms in the United States. Now it's controlled by the government, okay? This farmer is allowed to grow beans one season and corn the next season, and that's all he's allowed to grow. He's not allowed to grow anything less, anything more. He can't add anything to the crops. Has to be what he's told to grow, okay? And so as you're looking at this year, you see he had corn the last season so this time it's beans and after he harvests these beans and he gets ready to replant for his next crop it'll be corn again because that's all he's allowed to do but that's because we allow criminals to control us okay but back to Barack Obama you know um, he has to do as he's told because he's a puppet he's not really the leader of this country he never has been Okay, neither was uh, Mr. Bush, neither was Reagan, that's right, neither was Clinton. They all take their orders from the same people. That's what you got to understand. Now the 4th of July is here, tomorrow's Independence Day, okay? And uh, we're going to be out there celebrating. I don't know what we're celebrating. Because see, here in America... You want to celebrate your freedom, right? Independence Day, that we're free. Well, let me think about this a second. Let's use your head here. So, we're in the land of the free, huh? Is that why we have more prisons and more people locked up than anywhere on the face of the globe? Does that sound like freedom to you? It don't sound like freedom to me. We're in the land of the free, huh? As of July 1st, if you look it up online, you'll see it. It happened in this state. It happened all over the country. New laws was wrote into effect. That's right. Like an example, up in Florida, now for all you welfare people, you had to mandatorily, or you had to mandatory now, it's a new law in Florida, 
that you have to be drug tested. That's right. Well, that's because you're in the land of the free. See, because we're in the land of the free, now you got the privilege to be drug tested if you're on welfare. And uh, they're saying, well, it's to make sure the people on welfare ain't squandering their money on drugs. They're going to always come up with an excuse because they got to give an excuse to everything they ever invent, any new laws they write. But we already have more laws in the land of the free than you can even memorax. You'd have to go to school for seven, eight years. That's right. And then you still wouldn't be able to remember them all. You'd have to have an entire library in your home, your own personal library of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books. And every year you'd have to add a new book to it. Because every year we write more laws for that new book, okay? So I want you to think about that because it's no lie. But you're living in the land of the free, huh? So uh, if America's the land of the free, then how come we got new laws that was just passed and started as, as of July 1st this year? In the state I'm in, in Iowa, in Florida, all over the United States, how come we have more laws than uh, you can even remember? And uh, for the land of the free to have more penitentiaries, more prisons than any other country on the face of the globe, and more people locked up than any other country on the face of the globe. That, to me, folks, does not sound like the land of the free to me. So don't hand me your hogwash about you're in the land of the free because you're uh, a total sheep if you actually believe that crap, okay? Like the American dream, okay? Well, at least they gave it the proper name, the American dream, because that's all there ever will be is a fucking dream, okay? And there's a good reason it'll only be a dream, because people won't get their heads out of their ass and they will become scared of another human being. And they will allow that other human being to control them, to think for them. But of course, you don't want somebody to control you, but you will allow them to control you, don't you? And if you're a controlling type of person, you want to control somebody else, but you don't want to be controlled yourselves. Well, you don't have a right. Nobody owns the right to control another human being. Do we need laws? Yes, we do need laws. I agree with that we need laws. But we need common sense laws, okay? That's right, common sense laws. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not kill. That's right. We need common sense laws. That's what we need. And we don't need anything more than just common sense laws. Okay? In other words, uh, stealing, killing, that's right. Things like this in this nature. Raping, molesting. All the common sense laws, they need to be applied and forced. But... All this other bullshit does not need to be, okay? No way does it need to be. The only reason it is is because we allow it to be. But you ain't gonna have to worry about it too much longer. You're really not. Because see, we've allowed ourselves to uh, become so ignorant to what's going on around us. And we don't know, wanna know what's going on around us because it scares us and makes us pee our pants, don't it? That's right. Or we think we can just turn our backs to it and it'll go away. And then you're going to come up with your excuse, but they've been predicting this stuff for years, and it never happens. Well, hold on. So hundreds of years, history's replayed itself over and over, but it never happened, right? Well, then that tells me that Nazi Germany never happened. Adolf Hitler, well, he never happened. He, di he didn't exist. It never happened. It's a false. It's a fake. It never happened. That's what you're telling me when you try to say crap like that. That's just you trying to dodge out of the fucking truth because you're peeing yourself because you don't want to look at the truth. Because you're a coward. Okay? The only thing I can tell you is this. You people are going to be out here, you know. Um, where I'm at here, they celebrated their 4th of July on the 1st. That's right. They had their fireworks on the 1st. Who else had their 4th of July, what they call it a different day up in Canada, that's right, and they celebrated their stuff on the 1st. And what did we do in this community? We celebrated ours on the 1st. Hmm, that sounds like NWO to me. We had to fucking celebrate hmm, the 4th of July on the 1st down here when Canada was celebrating theirs. Hmm. I don't know about the other states, but I know that's what happened in this area. 
Okay, they had their fireworks on the 1st, not the 4th, the 1st, while Canada was celebrating theirs. So, you know, uh, you might want to really stop and think about this crap, because I'm not kidding you. I'm telling you straight up, okay? Time's running out. We're in a war right now. It's escalating. It's going to lead you into your third world war. And I've always said this, and I've said this for years. We've built weapons of mass destruction. We've built weapons that are designed to kill thousands and thousands of people. And then all of you people say they'll never use them. They'll never use them. You're out to lunch in your freaking heads. You think they spent billions and billions and billions of dollars making these weapons to leave them on a shelf and polish them for decoration? No. No, not at all. They're going to use them. You better get that through your freaking heads. They're going to use them. And when they do, lots of people will die. That plain and simple. But why we're up here celebrating our independence, our freedom, when you have a war going on that's done nothing but escalate, and you have politicians at the top that's let the virus that attacks the human brain attack their brain. You have bankers who's let the virus that attacks the human brain attack their brain, okay? That's right, power and greed, power and greed, control, power and greed, control, power and greed. That's all it's about. The right to do onto somebody else that you not want done onto yourself. It's pretty fucking pathetic, if you ask me. But, anyhow, I hope you all have a good 4th of July. You can go out there and celebrate all you want. Because if we're here next year on the 4th of July and I'm able to do a video again, well, I'll be happy that we made it through another year and we're not dead yet, okay? But will things change? No, they're not going to change unless we get our heads out of our ass, okay? But there's a high probability that next year at this time we won't be here and I won't be doing a video because major mayhem will have taken place, okay? And lots of people will be dead. Because the war's done nothing but escalate. They lie to you and tell you they're going to bring their troops home. They're not going to bring your troops home. They've lied to you from day one. If you want to believe that, then you should believe that when Barack Obama said before coming into office he was going to end the war and bring the troops home, so you should believe that the war's over. All of our troops are at home right now, okay? And it's all peaceful. It's all good right now. There's no wars going on at all. Yep, it's just a peaceful land, man, of peace and harmony and everybody getting along with each other, right? Not... But if you want to believe that hocus pocus, you go ahead and believe it. And you can be the fool who's fooled yourself. That's all I can tell you, okay? I can't say much more than that other than have a happy 4th of July. Enjoy it. It may very well be your last one. And uh, get ready because there's going to be some major shit going down. And why will it happen? Because we won't do anything about it, isn't that right? Think about it, because you're sure not going to do anything about it. You're going to say you can't do anything about it. You're going to tell yourself, what can I do about it, aren't you? Or you're going to say, well, there's just nothing. Well, we have to listen to what the laws say. I mean, you'll come up with some blame fucking excuse to justify evil behavior. And while you're justifying evil behavior and allowing Satan to take over, He's going to do what he does best, and he's going to kill, and he's going to destroy, and lots of people are going to die. Better think about it, because there's no lie. To the next video, you have a good one.